you know what it is, Agla App version 1.4 is here and it brings loads of user experience improvements. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button and turn on the notification bell because you want to be notified when these videos go up. I try to make two videos every week and I'm always telling you what the best shoes to be buying in the shop are for making as much aglet as possible. Now let's get into these patch notes. Firstly, verified earn rate is now boost rate. New players were getting confused with the naming of verified earn rate. They were thinking it was like kind of how Twitter has verified people. You had to get verified and then you earned a boosted earn rate. That's not the case as you all well know. But new players didn't know that so they decided to change the name and have come up with boost. There may also be plans for boost to become something else in the future, have other variables affecting it maybe. We'll just have to wait and see. Sneaker recycling, you can now remove old and unwanted sneakers in return for aglet. So this feature isn't actually affected by your wear percentage or the amount of repairs left on your shoe. Only the tier matters when recycling your shoes. The return rates for your sneakers are Tier 5, 2 aglet. Tier 4, 25 aglet. Tier 3, 100 aglet. Tier 2, 600 aglet. Tier 1, 3.75k aglet. And Tier 0, 37,500 aglet. Sneakers are now grouped and numbered in your shelf. If you have multiples of the same pair, your shelf will no longer feel super huge and cluttered, and it'll be easier to find certain pairs. To know if your sneakers are grouped, it'll look stacked, and there'll be a number in the top right of the sneaker. There is now a jump to top button on the shelf and the shop. Now a controversial update that I myself am totally fine with but others may not be. There are now limits on the number of one sneaker type that you can purchase. I'm guessing the devs have noticed that some players have been buying out shoes not leaving enough for the rest of the players to be able to get one. C did some research and he seems to think that the maximum you can purchase is 5% of the batch quantity but he seems to have found two exceptions to this rule. First if the quantity of the pair is under 20 you're only able to buy one and gold aglet sneakers don't seem to have any purchasing limits. The referral screen has now had a minor update and we've had an update to the explore page. As long as a player has scanned a stash or a station in that area, you're able to scan that area. This was a feature that was there before, but you can now see the data for that stash before you head to it. With the stashes, you'll be able to see the cooldown time. While dead stock stations and repair stations tell you what tier they can repair, what percentage of the shoe they will repair, and how long the cooldown timer is before you can use them again. New users can now sign in with their Apple ID, their Google account, their Snapchat, or the old fashioned way like the rest of us players who've been playing for ages using their email address. Another new feature that doesn't really affect the players who've been playing for a long time is a massively upgraded onboarding process so new players will be able to have a much better experience when starting the game. And also sold out badges are now coming to the storefront so you don't have to click on a shoe to see if it's still in stock, it's just there on the storefront. In the patch notes, there's also something that no one seems to have figured out yet. It's called Aglet Special Spots. So I guess that's up to the community to figure out because I have no idea. There's also been tweaks to location permissions and loads of bugs have been fixed. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want the best news on Aglet, make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video and I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.